Hi, I'm Liz. I'm Chris. And we are Carnival, Carnival Cruise, Cruise Addicts. So this is the second of the series of our latest cruise on the Carnival Celebration out of Miami, which we loved, by the way. Yeah, we left on February 25th, and so that went into March, and it was our second sailing on the Carnival Celebration in the last three months. Yep, the third overall. Third overall. So we wanted to share our thoughts on things that we thought could be a little bit better. Yeah, they, they could probably improve a few things. First one that comes to mind for me personally in our cabin, um, we did have a suite. Um, and it was. All right, so the setup of the suite I thought was silly to begin with. It has two TVs and a curtain separating the two TVs. So it. And by the way, we will do a full room tour yes. so you can watch that. And it, it's pretty cool, but it's just a weird setup. Um, overall, and then just the, the cosmetic things, I think, were Yeah, the suite irritating. itself was nice. I yeah. actually liked the room quite a bit. The balcony was nice. Big. Yeah, but... We'll get into it, that, too. Yeah, we'll do the room tour, but some of the cosmetic things on some of the wood trim was, yeah. was falling off. Yeah, the, the, this room in particular, and you'll see it in the, the videos and the pictures, the, the little stickers that go on the side of the MDF um, were just falling off Nobody everywhere. Nobody knows what that means, MDF. Medium density fiberboard. So the fake wood facets that go in front or on the side, they were all falling off. It's like the glue they used and the mirror was falling off. Yeah, yeah, the mirror too. Yeah, it was just a lot of weird stuff. I mean, a couple of stuff on the corner, yeah, you expect people to hit that with their luggage and it falls apart. Totally understand that, but... I mean, this is stuff people don't touch that was just falling apart. I think uh, I think Arnold needs to go back to uh, their... Uh, their vendors. Yeah. Yeah, and speaking of that, the... Mm. Mm. Okay. The decking. <laughs> like, the decking. The decking on these new oh, ships, yeah. we've noticed they've been falling apart quite a bit. I mean, that, I mean, even on the Mardi Gras, we were three or four weeks after it sailed. Yeah, and already the decking. So, like, on some of the stairs... Yeah, they some of the staircases decking, They actually down. closed a whole set of stairs down. Yep. Because they were, like, digging it all out and replacing it. But that was on the Mardi Gras. We're on the celebration. No, no, on this one. They were oh, this one, yeah. They had entire staircases shut down. That's what I said. I meant the Mardi Gras, too, because <laughs> it was... It seemed rushed. Uh, so, yeah, I think uh, Carnival needs to go back to their vendors and say we need a, a better initial product. Yeah, because it just launched in 2022. So it's yeah. not an old ship. Yeah. Um, for me, they continue to bar, bar bake the pizza crust. Yeah, at night. At Miami Slice, which is the pizza place, during busy times, which... Look, I love my carnival pizza, clearly. She does. Even when it was the, the pizza pirate, she was like, Arr! But when they... Par-bake means to pre-bake it, and then they put the toppings on and fully bake it. It just does not taste the same. Nah. The, the, the toppings don't stick. It's, it's totally different. No. Like, we live in Florida. If you get a Sicilian pizza down here, it's a, pre, uh, a par-baked crust. They slap everything on it. They put it in the it's oven. They good. serve it to you, and it just it's, it's not good. It's not, not good, not good. Yep. So, the next was the carpets. Yeah. Stained everywhere in the hallways. Now, I know they serve a whole bunch of fruit juices, this, that, and the other, but we've been on other, what did I say, other? Yeah. Other. Other. Uh, we've been on 50-something carnival cruises, and I have not seen carpet stained like this, quite honestly. I mean, we've been on ships that have been in service for 30 years. Yeah, they need to find a new vendor, get more stain-resistant carpet or something. Something. I mean, yeah. go to Stainmaster, call Shaw, I don't know. So, with the bars, we love the bars, yeah. but they were understaffed. A across the boat. Literally yeah, across the boat. Yeah, remember Latitudes? We were sitting there forever to get a drink. Yep. Um, but so, during the business busy times, they need to, like, add more staff or something. Uh, get uh, a better uh, system. Yeah, adjust accordingly. I mean, when they open, you know they're going to be busy. Take three people, put them there. If a bar is closed, then shift it to that one. But, I mean, the casino bar, bar 820, um, even, uh, what's the one in Carnival Celebration? Or in the Carnival Celebration. That was the boat we were on, Carnival Central. The one right down by the stage. There's oh, one. Oh, Tropicali. Yeah, there's. Is it? Tropicali? No, it's the restaurant. The one in the center state, there's one person. And you can see they're stressed out. They're trying to serve everybody. It's not like they're sitting there being lazy going, oh, great, well, i got to make another drink. The other drink. issue is, like, it's all seats. And so normally it's fun if it, there's enough seats for everybody, but there isn't. So people get their drink, they hang out, 
And then the people who actually just want to get a drink and go. That's a great point, Liz. Oh my God. So you have seats, like she said, across the whole bar. It should be half seats, half grab and go. Because I, just like everybody else, love sitting at a bar, having a drink, relaxing, enjoying yourself, but there's so many people behind you trying to get drinks. So yeah, I mean, it might be, like to have the service area, there should be another area for non-seating and then get your drink and go yeah. seating, just chill. Yeah, so the next thing was service in the casino, if you have casino drinks free, yeah, like while seated, it was very slow. The servers. The people at the bar were going crazy, but the servers themselves, I don't know, that that, that was... Yeah, they're very friendly, but it took, for, it took like probably 20 yeah. minutes to get a drink. And you can see, I'd say 60% of them came back frustrated because it took them so long to get you a drink. 40% were like, great, you need another drink? You know, so that, that was kind of annoying. Yeah. So the service in the restaurants were also slow in some of them, right? We went to Cucina del Capitano, and it took almost two hours. For dinner. For dinner, which, like, for us, we're, like, an hour, hour and 15 max. You know, our neighbors, like, sitting next to us, we were commenting, like, how slow it was. They were they sat down left and right of us, uh, before us. The ones to the right of me got their dinner about the same time we did, and the ones to the left of us, we got our dinner before they did. And we're talking an hour and a half later. Yeah, so. So they, they were surprisingly pleasant because I'd be really pissed. And I was super annoyed. And Liz loves Kachina. I love the food there as well. The quality this time. And you'll see this in our restaurant reviews. The quality at Kachina, uh, not that good this time. I mean, mine was, was better okay. than yours. But yeah, I agree there were some missteps like... And we'll, we'll talk about it in a future video, but like in general, it could have been better. Yeah. I mean, an hour, I mean, we did the steakhouse and we were in and out in an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. So it was very slow at Kachina. Um, DR, it? Dominican Republic. Oh, yeah. So we got poured on, not Carnival's call, fault. That is. Carnival ordered rain. I know they did. I'm going to complain to John. And we had to cancel our excursion. But we do, like, when everybody's excursions are canceled. Because it's pouring all day. Because it's pouring. They should add a little bit more activities. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree. I mean, we're not the activity type people, but literally we got there, I think, 730. And the first activity was, um, not comedy. Tell me. Trivia, Trivia. Trivia. At, like, 1130. <laughs> And it was pouring when we got there, and they didn't add anything. So I, I think they can definitely do a better job. And I, I would agree with this on any cruise uh, that we've been on, that if the weather is inclement, which happens, yeah, not asking not a for a deal. refund or but accommodation. They should, add, they should add more stuff throughout the yeah, day. Yeah, pull a couple people and do, do, do something else. Dart throwing, axe throwing, golfing, yeah. shotguns. So the next thing... All right, stop. The next thing we should say is that they used to do skeet shooting. Which okay, that's not going to happen. It'd yep. be a good impromptu activity. Nope. <laughs> All right, the ventilation in the casino this time. And outside the casino. And outside the casino was really bad. Yes. So we've been on this ship twice before. We know it's worked well. Yep. But it was super smoky everywhere. I was getting a headache. I had to leave. Um, but the last time we were on the cruise, to Liz's point. You walk in, I'm like, is this the smoking side of the casino? And you didn't smell anything. It was really uh, impressive. There was and, something going on. Yeah, this well. time, halfway down deck seven, seven or six, what was on? Seven? seven? Seven. You know, we're in the shops and you smell cigarette smoke. I'm like, ah, eh, something's broken. Yeah. So, fix um, it. <laughs> the next thing, not Carnival's fault, really, but cruise crud. we got the cruise crud. So, yeah. if you wonder, I'm not like, eh. She's not that chipper, a little crabby. She's crabby. Mm -hmm. Just don't see it on camera. Mm -hmm. I'm stuffy. <laughs> I'm trying not to hack on camera. So we got the cruise crud again. And the last thing, I mean, I gained... Oh, this is totally Carnival's fault, by the it way. It is. I gained 10 pounds. Their food's so damn good. The food we eat so much. The food is so damn good. <laughs> I gained it, like 10 pounds. It, it was... I know this is the not happy version, but the food overall I thought was really good this time. Yes. Anyway, thanks for watching. More to come.